Hey, how you doing? Mm. It's good to see you. Come in, come in. Do you want a drink? No? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I think you might need a drink. <laughs> All right, maybe in a bit. Maybe in a bit. Come in, sit down, chill out. I was surprised to get your call, actually. I mean, it's Valentine's Day. I would have thought you'd be busy. What, me? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I don't really like Valentine's Day too much. Also, it kind of sucks when you don't really have anyone you're, like, really that close to. I mean, yeah, there was... There are a couple of people I could have gone out with. But I don't know. I, I wasn't really feeling it. You know when you know someone and you know they like you, but you're not super close to them, and you don't really want to spend that, like, a special time with them? I mean, it sounds horrible, but that's literally what it was like. Because I think if you take someone out for Valentine's, it's saying something, right? And the people I'm speaking to right now, I don't see any of them that way. So I don't know. I wasn't really, wasn't really feeling it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I suppose you could call it a bit lonely, as everyone's everyone's out there doing their thing, and it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Anyway, it, enough about me. Enough about me. I was surprised to get your call. As I said, you should be out tonight. I mean, you're not the one who's like single. I'm single, and you're with someone. So why are you not out with that person? Oh, seriously? What you guys had a fight tonight? Over what? <sighs> yeah, it's funny actually. It doesn't. I mean, that that doesn't surprise me that much. How long have you guys been together again? Yeah, it's been a little while, and obviously I've been hearing about him for a, for a while now as well. Of course, as you know, you and me are very good friends, and I really cherish our friendship, and yeah, I, I just, you're one of the closest people to me, and I really appreciate that you share all this with me. So, you know, whilst you've been with this guy, and whilst I've been hearing about him from you, I have kind of felt that... Yeah, sometimes he's not the most thoughtful or considerate person that there ever was, you know? So what did you fall out of? <laughs> what, just that? Well, he didn't put much effort in. Mm. But are you that type of person? Like, do you require, do you require a lot of effort? Uh, for example, on a day like Valentine's Day? Because Valentine's is a bit can be a bit forced sometimes so I, I didn't think that you were that way inclined oh i see what you mean okay he hasn't been thoughtful generally i don't know like when i met the guy i thought he was okay but i didn't vibe with him but i i, I don't know you know i wasn't really going to say anything to you because he looks happy so i don't know i didn't really want to comment too much you know well he wanted to <laughs> What do you mean he had other options tonight? No, he wouldn't have. Surely he didn't say that to you. Well, he was thinking of going out with someone else, but not. Were you guys actually together? Oh, I see. He wanted to go out with a friend. Okay, that's interesting. Well, so his friend was going through a hard time because his friend has just been, I don't know what, so his friend has, has had problems with their their partner. And so they're upset on Valentine's, so he wants to, he wanted to cheer them up. But you guys already had something planned, right? No, nah, that's weird then. No, nah, that's weird if you guys already had something planned and then he said, yeah, my friend's upset, I might have to cancel our plans to go and comfort them on Valentine's. That's a bit strange. Yeah, I don't know. As I said, it's, it's, in my opinion, he's not the most thoughtful or, or considerate. I don't want to badmouth him, you know, but, you know, you're here at my place on Valentine's evening. <laughs> And I'd expect you, you know, to be to not be here, to be somewhere else. So you're, you know, you're with one of your best friends as opposed to the guy that you're actually with on Valentine's. I'm not gonna lie though. I mean, I kind of, I kind of like that you're here. Yeah, I, mean, I thought I was just gonna have the evening alone. 
But it was an interesting feeling for me when I got your text. Because when you text me, I'm always happy. You know, you're really close to me. You're one of my best mates. I love spending time with you. Uh, but at the same time, obviously, I was a bit worried that you know, you're texting me and you want to come over. So obviously, everything can't, can't be that good. But yeah, I was glad you texted me. Because you know, when we go out, we can spend hours together and we can talk forever. And um, yeah, I really, I really love it. Yeah, it's good to see you tonight. I'm actually glad that you came. Yeah, genuinely, I'm glad. I'm glad that you came. I mean, you know, when we're together, it's always fun. And there's no arguments. And it's never difficult. It's always easy between us. It's always chilling. So I'm happy. I'm happy. This is the best possible thing that could have happened to me for Valentine. <laughs> what? No, seriously. I, seriously, I'm not, I'm not even joking. It is. It's the best thing that could have happened to me. There's actually no one else I want to spend it with. There's no one else I'd want to spend it with other than you. Wait, is that a weird thing to say? Because we're friends. So I don't know if that's the straight thing to say. I mean, have we... I don't know if we've always had this about our friendship. I mean, because when we met, actually, we met through friends. And uh, I can't lie. Because when I first met you, I, I thought you were devilishly attractive. Like, you were so, just so, so good looking. And I think that's what first kind of drew me to you. But then when we spoke, we just got on so well and it was yeah it was it was interesting for me it was strange because i never get on that well immediately with a person and with you that's how it was it was just so effortless and it still is it always is and i said we could spend hours together and i always look forward to seeing you but in those first days when we first got to know each other those first few months yeah you were on my mind quite a lot and i wasn't sure actually what to do with it because naturally we know each other through through a friend group, so I didn't want to kind of pursue something and have it ruin the friendship or make things weird in the group. At the same time, I really did get on with you, and uh, yeah, it was a really rare thing. I'd never had that before. But then we settled into a friendship, and and that was nice. It was nice, but I think there was always a bit of, I wouldn't say longing from my side, but there was always a bit of intrigue, like that intrigue, the tiny bit was always there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit, you know what? I shouldn't be saying this to you. I should be saying this to you, my friend. <laughs> what, it'd be like a Valentine's treat? Okay, fine, fine. Let's let's say that. Let's say that. Me talking about <laughs> me talking about, you know, my underlying feelings is my Valentine's treat to you. And yeah, you need it tonight because you seem to have had a had a shit night. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I'm glad you're here. Honestly, I'm glad you're here. Mm, give me a hug. Mm. Mm. <sighs> you're all done up as well like you look really nice tonight yeah seriously you look really nice yeah he's uh he's lucky well he would be if uh if he wasn't so thick if he wasn't so dumb and you actually stayed with him mm. do you know what I, I feel a bit vulnerable now because i told you because I, I told you how i felt when we first met i feel a bit exposed because We've never spoken about that before. So you might have to give me something in return, you know. What, you're shy all of a sudden? No, you can't be shy since when are you ever shy with me? You're never shy with me, come on. Give me something. Honestly, it's strange. I actually feel exposed. I feel like I've given away too much. So was there ever anything you felt towards me? Actually, no, sorry, that, that might be too much of a direct question. <laughs> so what were your... And the feelings in the beginning, what did you think? Really? Well, there was an intrigue there too. Okay, this is going to sound funny, but it doesn't surprise me too much. No, I'm not trying to be arrogant. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but you know what? The eyes never lie. A couple of times when we looked at each other, I know that I could kind of feel that your eyes lingered on me a split second too long. And the reason I knew that is because I was looking at you a split second too long as well. And I wondered if anyone would notice. I wondered if any of our other friends would notice it. So I would look away. But when I looked at you, sometimes, sometimes I couldn't help pull my gaze away I was just drawn to you and sometimes when I looked at you yeah I just couldn't break eye contact 
something was just drawing me and yeah it was strange and, and I, I could kind of I could see something similar in your eyes but I just I don't know what to do with it like it's strange like you're an amazing person you're you're just incredible you're smart you're kind you're intelligent you're beautiful you're like the perfect person over the time we've known each other and you've been with this person and that person and that person and Every time I felt that they're just not good enough for you. You know, I always stay positive when you tell me about them because I want you to be happy. But inside, I always, I always find myself thinking that, nope, this person just isn't good enough for you. But then I don't think anyone is. <laughs> like, no one's good enough for you because you're the most amazing person I've ever known, ever. And in the beginning, maybe that's why I wasn't more forward with you, because maybe I thought that I wasn't good enough either. But we became really close, and I honestly feel that no one understands you like I do. I don't mean that to be like an arrogant thing to say, but that's just how I feel. That's just what I feel. And it's the same with you. I don't think anyone understands me the, the way that you do. It's, it's quite amazing. It's an, it's an, it's an incredible thing. Mm. You smell really good today. What fragrance is that? Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I know the one. See, so, yeah, what's funny is that I'm quite familiar with that one, but it smells so much better on you. It's intoxicating. Actually, you know, I know exactly why, though. I'll tell you. It's because I think I just love the smell of your skin. Those times where we've met and you're either not wearing a fragrance or it's more of a chill one. And I've been close enough to you that the smell of your skin just fills me up. I love it. There's something about it. It does something to my brain. It, you know, it makes me feel all of these emotions. It makes me feel affection, compassion, love. But it also kind of excites me. I don't know if I should be saying this to you. Uh, I don't want things to get weird between us, but I can't, I don't know, I can't help it, just you being here now with me on Valentine's Day. Uh, it's just, it's doing something to me. And I have kind of dreamt about this inadvertently. I have, and you smell so good. <sighs> When I look into your eyes like this, I can't, I can't pull myself away. Come a bit closer. your lips is it bad to say that I've dreamt of this moment It's just you. All I want is you. I just... I feel like this has been such a long time coming. All I want is you. Your man just doesn't do you justice. You should be with me. We should be together. I know it and you know it. There's no such thing as taking it too slow between us. We've known each other for so long. We know each other inside out. No one understands you like I do. No one understands me like you do. Mm. 
I'll tell you how I waited for this. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>